Hello folks, this is Monarch Man back at you guys today with a totally random review of something that I did earlier in my channel that I feel like I need to get my paws back into. It is playing card collecting. Not Pokemon, not Yu-Gi-Oh, and not Magic, or none of that other stuff. It is bicycle playing card collecting. Now, I don't collect just standard bicycle playing cards like these guys. No, no, no. Uh, I collect things like, on a rare occasion, if I see a bicycle, you know, made by their actual bicycle company, which all these cards I'm going to show you are made by them, but are, um, yeah, are made by them. Um, but the ones, some of the ones that I collect are made by them, but are done by a different company, and they are super ridiculous ridiculously high quality and people use them for magic sleight of hand beautifulness can uh conversation starters collecting value and sleight of hand and i already said that one and most of all cardistry so anyway today i am going to show you guys something that is freaking awesome and it is this deck and the thing I like about it is it looks like a book. And I think that is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Anyway, this is the box. And I love them so much. And they are going to be up against... That is Peter Pan. And this one is the White Rabbit. Can anyone guess? Guess, guess, guess. It is Allison in Wonderland inspired beautifulness. No, this does not look like a book. This one is really cool looking. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to jump right on into the Alice in Wonderlands. We're all mad here. Cards, the White Rabbit, and we're going to take a look at these guys and we're going to see what they are. Now, I really, really like the back of these cards. And the reason why I like the back of these cards is because you won't see any edge bleeding, edge chipping, or anything like that. So there's one of the Jokers, which is the Chester Cat. Cat, sorry, I was over there. And I think that these are beautiful. Now, let's pull over this guy. I think that's the other Joker. Yeah, I'm, I'm upside down. And that is the Caterpillar, smoking his hoochie, or whatever you want to call it, because we all know that's what it is. And fun fact, the guy who actually wrote these books was as high as a kite. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, you guys can take a look at that. You guys can pause and read that if you would like. We will flip over this card, and then we'll flip over... Oh, so this is the double backer. So those who do magic... Could be like, yo, look at this. Womp, 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 womp. I flip over. How did he do that? Look. Oh, it's a double backer. Sometimes they come with uh, clear fronts, um, blank fronts, which are really cool. But anyway, here we go. So here is the Ace of Spades, which for Alice in Wonderland, I guess it's okay. Um, so yeah, let's go through these. Um, boom. So they have different coat, co the coat. Wow, if I can speak here, the court cards are all different in this set. Um, yeah, and then all the pips and all the other ones are 100% different. And these are all inspired by the movies, books, whatever you want to call them. Let's keep going. Okay, let's get through the last two sets. Ooh, those are gorgeous. Okay, and then these are those, and we'll get down to the last card. Yep, anyway, um, these are the bicycle white rabbit playing cards inspired by Alice in Wonderland. I um, like them. I think they're pretty cool. Here's the back one more time. Sorry for bumping the cam. Throw these guys out here. 
with the box next to them. And now let's move on to Neverland. First of all, I'm gonna show you right out the bat. Do you see a coloring difference? They are vibrant. They are like Neverland. I love these, they're gorgeous. Only thing I don't like about cards that are done this way, the front is stark white too. They, they, they come off weird. But these guys are not stark white. These guys are a little off white. The back is obviously darker. And I like that. And I like how this is a double backer because you can do some really cool stuff with that. I wish they were there were, you know, nothing on the fronts of the cards on that one card, because then you can do blank cards, you can do, you know, really cool stuff. So let's flip this one. So the court cards are I mean the 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 face card, I mean the cards themselves, the pips, are gonna be a little bit different, but here's this here, and and there's a Tinkerbell, and that was the mermaid. And these are the crocodiles that ate Captain Hook's hand, which are awesome. And I like how they go and do it this way. I just think this is gorgeous. Um, yep. Yeah. Yep. And I love them because I love how they do this. Wendy. I just, Captain Hook, I just love these. They're just awesome. Just everything about these. Yep, Peter Pan. Like, so cool. Tinkerbell. Like, come on. I just think these cards are gorgeous. Now, honestly, I think more mind mind altering, like when you get into it and you think about it and you start getting into that world, Alice in Wonderland definitely is more of a mind trip. But more of a childhood, go away, get into that, you know, where you, oh, what is it, where you have, uh, honey, what, what does a kid have when he's playing with these toys? Imagination, got it. Your imagination more, for me, gets explored in Allison in Wonderland, not Allison in Wonderland, in Neverland. And I absolutely love these cards. These are not ones I'll play with often or if ever again. There's ones I like pulling out once in a blue moon, checking them out, seeing how they go. But uh, yeah, these are the Neverland playing cards. So guys, if you watch this video, please rate or say your favorite in the uh, comment section below. Tell me if you like the white rabbits or if you like the Neverland playing cards more. Anyway, guys, um, this is Monarch Man saying stay fresh and stay saucy, my friends, and more reviews to come. Peace.